This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs> message from Vinny over on Patreon and he basically very politely asked um, I'm not sure how you go about selecting which kind of licks that you break down uh, on Mondays uh, on this channel I on Mondays tend to do some sort of lick based lesson so that hopefully some folks out there get some use out of it so this one at least hopefully might be useful to Vinny and maybe a couple of other people as well um, now the lick came from the podgo update thing and slowly it's something like this is what happened <laughs> now cards on the table this sort of thing when i'm improvising this sort of thing the timing is not necessarily at the forefront of my mind uh, except for trying to land and finish on the beat if that makes sense the the idea really is that um, I'm trying to keep track of where the snare drum or kick drum is hitting and at least finish the line in time so I think what actually happens in this line is it kind of the first few notes uh, are like seven notes in time for one so we're in A flat major for this but we're starting on D flat so we start on the fourth fret so we kind of starting with our middle finger uh, if we've got a permutation of three notes per string we start on the second finger okay so four six four three and then this is kind of the crux of this whole technique we slide up our first finger and then you get all three notes on the next string. And what this is basically doing is this slide uh, uh, facilitates us moving up to our next kind of major scale shape. Okay, so four, six, four, three, slide up, six, eight. Then, this is another kind of key part of this I'm going to skip like that. So from the 8th fret on the A string up to the 5th fret on the G string. And then I do my normal Eight. 
So that covers our first two beats, I think. Okay, and then I come up to here for our uh, ninth fret. Jump down to the eighth fret below. And then sixth fret, eighth fret, eleventh fret, down eight, six, nine, eight. Sorry, nine, six, eight, slide up to ten. Uh, so if I was practicing that slowly, I think I'd try and cram the seven notes in start. And then the other stuff I'd even out because I think that probably probably makes sense. If you watch the right hand, when it comes up to this, I'm doing kind of economy picking. I'll put it on the Patreon the the uh, indication for that. Now, where did this come from in the first place? So hopefully that helps with that, Vinny. I can remember at the very start of a Joe Satriani tab book, uh, there was this exercise that sort of started in G major, and it started on this kind of second. I don't know, doing something like that. And that is literally, I think, the, the genesis for where this sort of thing crept into my playing, but what is useful about this is you can slide both up and down. Uh, so you could do this actually came from in terms of why I think it crept into my playing uh, this week or whatever I think it was last week when we were away in Wales I had this kind of idea thing that I was sort of messing around with practicing when I had a couple of minutes thing that I was just just playing around with so again in the key of A flat major taking that idea as we start when we get to here we jump back down to the eighth fret and then jump to the next available note on the G string and back down and then we start the phrase again just from the next note up so it's then Concept. So you start with your middle finger in wherever you are in the major scale, or the middle note. Not necessarily the middle finger, but as in you've got three notes per string. And you 
to start in the middle of those three notes and then you either slide up after the last note or down. somewhat. Patreon will be a place to get the tab and the backing track um, and hopefully that helps Vinny and they, yeah I think that to me that is actually not something that I've considered that you could join things up quite so easily in that way where you're just alternating alternating string skip stuff yet. Satchi does a lot of that sort of thing on the same string. Give that a go. Thank you for stopping by. I hope that's a somewhat interesting lesson to some of you guys that are into some of this stuff. Lessons and licks playlist on this channel for more of this sort of thing and please leave a comment if this was at all helpful and you want more of these sorts of videos on YouTube um, from me I guess in particular and cheers. <laughs>